let's take you to some interesting news coming in right now where MS Dhoni has been left out of the BCI's central contact list, uh, the contract list there for the players. He has not played, remember, since 2019 World Cup semi-final defeat to New Zealand. MS Dhoni retired from Test cricket in December 2014 after playing 90 matches and had stepped down as captain of India's uh, short over formats in December, in the January actually of 2017. MS Dhoni was a grade A in the BCCI central contract list last year, but after he made himself unavailable since the World Cup, he has been left out of the 27 member list for a period of October 2019 to 2020. Rika Roy with us on the phone line to give us more perspective on this. Rika, just looking at the tweet that has come in from BCCI, it starts by congratulating the young people who made it to the list. That's uh, Seni, Mayank, Shreyas, Washington and Deepak Cheher who get annual player contracts. But MS Dhoni not featuring in that. Well, yes, uh, they have congratulated the uh, young guns who have made it to uh, the BCCI central contracts because of some prolific performances last year. And this only, of course, is the big story coming out at this hour. He is not on the uh, contract list for the first time, perhaps in a decade. And what I do understand is that Sonal, he has not announced his retirement, um, uh, but if he's not in the contract list, one would imagine that he will uh, uh, hang up his boots sometime this year. But uh, one really cannot give the timeline uh, because it is MS Dhoni. Um, it'll all depend on the kind of form that he shows in the IPL uh, 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 and, and, and thereby um, if he is able to um, uh, if, he, if he is able to show good form in the IPL, he might consider uh, uh, to play the ICC World T20. But then again, it will also depend on the kind of wicket-keeping pool that India has, if Rishabh Pant is in a better form or not uh, at that point of time. Though right now, what, seem, what, what, what the suggestions that we get from this contract list is that MS Dhoni will not feature in the ICC World Cup team, uh, the, the tournament that's going to happen in October this year, but given that IPL is around the corner, it will happen before that. It will happen in uh, the month of March, uh, April and May. Uh, there is a, a, a very bright chance that he might still turn up in India colours. Stay back with us. We have Taru Sharma and Atul Vasan joining us also for more on this. Just for the benefit of our viewers, uh, Taru Sharma, Dhoni has been on a sabbatical since July 2019. He has not publicly cleared any uh, uncertainty surrounding his future or his absence, his absence now even being questioned by others uh, in the fraternity, including some senior players and se former Indian captain Sunil Gavaskar as well. How do you see this latest move? What does it indicate, the fact that he does not get a contract now? Well, he has become the eternal mystery man, hasn't he? But, you know, about the contracts, you, you've got to not criticize the BCCI for this because obviously contracts are meant for those who need a little bit of security that, yes, we will be a part of the national team, one team or the other, and we could use that, uh, that the, 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 the commercial return. Dhoni doesn't really need a contract. And, and because he's not playing test matches, which is a major part of cricket, not playing one day as as well, maybe a little bit of T20, we don't know because of his mysterious kind of silence, I think it would be silly for the board to say, well, he's not a vital member of the Indian team anymore because he's not even available for most of the formats of the game. And there's no point keeping him in some C category or whatever because that's disgraceful. Hmm. So, uh, you know, I, I, they say that, you know, we don't quite need to give him a contract. I think it makes sense on all fronts because he doesn't need the money. He doesn't need that security. He's not paying too much for the country. And even if he does, eventually, finally come out with a statement saying, maybe I'll play one more T20 if I can. It's really up to the selectors to take him or not. So in many ways, he has led to this situation himself. And I'm sure he would not be perturbed at all. All of us are. We're talking about it. But he would have just very lightly brushed this other shoulder thing. But I don't need a contract now, do I? All right. Interesting. You're saying he's a mystery man, but you're giving a lot of perspective on the BCCI angle. Rika is also on the phone line with us. Rika, I'm sure you have a question uh, for Charu. But also, just to understand, what does it mean for him? Is his absence speaking louder at this point? Get your question coming in, please. Rika, I'm asking if you have a question for Charu. He's on the phone line with us. Yes, I do have a question for Charu. I would like him to answer whether he sees Dhoni hanging up his boots this year or not. Because he is not 
are part of the annual contract and uh, and and people who are going to play for india cricket this whole year is being given contract so does he see that dhoni is going to retire this year <laughs> Well, he's led uh, his life and his cricket by his own rules, hasn't he, Rika? So, you know, if he would just make an announcement saying, "I'm quite happy now to not play cricket for India, but I'm quite happy to continue uh, domestic T20 leagues or international T20 leagues," that really is up to him. I think, uh, in his mind, it's difficult to guess, of course, but he is, to my mind, quite happy not to play for India again. It's just a mystery about why he's not announcing that, because he, uh, you know, like many other senior cricketers before him. fully realizes that it's time for the younger generation to step up and they have mm-hmm. to bear the responsibility they have to you know um play for india and 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 understand uh, everything else that goes with playing for india but he doesn't mm-hmm. you know, the, the eternal question rika sonam is that does he need cricket cricket may need him we might all say he's a genius he's you know he's he's certainly capable of winning more matches for india but does he need cricket anymore I don't think mm-hmm. he needs cricket anymore. He's achieved all that he could possibly have, and you know, I'd rather him gallop into the sunset on the basis of all that he's done so far, rather mm-hmm. than play another few T20s and maybe not lead India to win and have a whole lot of fans disappointed, saying, "Well, he didn't quite win the match for India. He wasn't quick enough. You know, he didn't accelerate enough." So why create mm-hmm. new memories when all his old memories are fabulous for the Indian cricket fans? Mm-hmm. Uh, if Atul is there on the phone line, Atul, uh, can I ask you this question? Whether MS Dhoni needs cricket or not, whether uh, you know he still has the passion to go on or he's done. What do you think? I don't know. This is uh, as Charu said. It's a mystery for me. You know, if he wants to play, then he he, he could have played Sayed Mustaq Ali. He was not injured, uh, and he was just taking a sabbatical. We can understand from the World Cup. But after World Cup, there's been a lot of cricket. If the format T20 excites him still, he wants to play IPL. He could have just turned up. For Jharkhand in Sayed Mushtaq Ali, which he did not, mm-hmm. which was surprising because he was not injured. Mm-hmm. And then now mm-hmm. he's just keeping everybody in the limbo, and and the kind of luxury afforded to him has never been given to any cricketer in the Indian cricket history. I don't think so. It'll be given to anybody in the future as well. But we are still waiting for him because of what he has delivered for India, because of his X factor. But mm-hmm. is he good enough to play for India? Is he good better than Rishabh Pant or, or Sanju mm-hmm. Samson, for instance, in in the current situation? That's for mm-hmm. selectors to decide. But he has to, um, you know, uh, make his succession plan uh, mm-hmm. uh, open, not a secret anymore. And But, I don't uh, think. Adil, so Adil, I think you've given a perfect segue to my next question. Does Indian cricket have a succession plan for MS Dhoni? Do you see? Do you really see someone stepping into his boots and doing the kind of stuff that he's done? Of course, I mean, you know, the king, king is dead. Long live the king. Cricket has moved on. W. G. Grace left cricket. V. B. Richards went. Sunil Gavaskar went. Sachin Tendulkar went. Cricket went on. We found Virat Kohli went to Tendulkar. We were asking, doing the same question, that what will happen after Tendulkar? Life goes on. We found Virat Kohli. We found Rohit Sharma. You know, after mm-hmm. Mahendra Singh Dhoni, in spite of all he has done, there will be somebody. Rishabh Pant is exciting talent. Sanju Samson is there. K. L. Rahul is joining the club. There are two, three players in the in the pipeline, and this is how cricket moves ahead. So I, I'm not worried on that expect at, at all. Mm-hmm. Um, Charu, since you are also a branding man, I have to ask you this question: Do you think at this point of time, if M. S. Dhoni is to hang up his, his boots, Chennai Super Kings' value valuation as a team is going to fall, which is why he is not announcing his retirement? No, I don't think you know. His retirement has nothing to do with the Chennai Super Kings. I think that's a very uh, independent tournament, and he is still hugely valuable to the Chennai Super Kings, and they are hugely valuable. Haven't done so much in the IPL. I don't think that's related to his presence in the Indian cricket team or his performances either for India. I think that's only his performance and his importance for the Chennai Super Kings. So they will continue to value him. I don't see him leaving that team for quite a while because he's still extremely capable and he's a great leader. But for so India, you... there are so many other options. Atul mentioned that, and you know, the whole point is to get the younger generation enthused enough and, and and give them some kind of incentive to say, "Go for it, guys!" Because India's cricket is robust. Why? Because we're producing champion after champion year after year, and that's how it should be. Mm-hmm. Uh, as I asked uh, Atul, do you see that there is one person, or there are a couple of persons who can do incredibles like MS Dhoni has done over the years? Uh, no, you know that's a tough one because I mean people do have very individual kind of should we say performances for the country very unique. You know all cricketers are unique in their own ways. 
And Dhoni was extremely mm-hmm. unorthodox. And we all, he grew up to be an incredible finisher, which is such a rare uh, ability in limited overs mm-hmm. cricket. I mean, in mm-hmm. test matches too, he was very useful. But I, I do think there are several. It, they just have to be unearthed. They have to be given that responsibility and given a mm-hmm. sort of a long rope, should we say, that, listen, you're good enough, go ahead and do it. I don't think the younger generation in India are any, uh, in, in any way less confident mm-hmm than they used to be in the past. They're a very confident bunch. They've, been, they've traveled internationally. And I mm-hmm. think it's just a question of giving the mantle over. But will they do exactly mm-hmm. something exactly like Tony? Maybe not. They'll have their own style. Rishabh Pant has his own style. People say he's very impetuous, but I'm sure he can curve himself a bit and he's a flashy left-hander. Decent keeper. Can you find better keepers there? Well, ever Dhoni becoming a T20 freelancer in the future? Atul, do you see uh, uh, MS Dhoni becoming a T20 freelancer in the future? No, I don't think so. I think, uh, you know, after what he has achieved, what he has done, and the kind of uh, uh, moolah in the bank, I don't think so that he'll be uh, stretching his limb uh, to play for any other franchise except Chennai, King, uh, Chennai Super King. And I think he might mm-hmm. just keep on playing for Chennai Super King uh, even after retiring because, uh, you know, uh, because we see the two entities uh, uh, together and Chennai Super mm-hmm. King will be uh, half uh, the, the name or the entity without uh, MS Dhoni, but it's going to eventually happen. But how long he can pursue this and the team uh, management and the owners will find the relevance with Dhoni, uh, even if he doesn't play, I am sure he's going to be part of Chennai Super King in some uh, uh, designation or the other. Right. Thank you very much, Atul, for joining us. And Charu, thank you to you as well.